Ash vs Cynthia is about to wrap up in Pokemon Journeys, finally ending a long way to battle for 15 years. But can Ash do it? I think we may know his last hope in order to beat the powerful Sinnoh champion Cynthia. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive into it. Pokemon Journeys episode 125 is approaching and we'll wrap up with Ash using his Lucario which is stepping into Mega Evolution. And of course Cynthia who is stepping up and using Dynamax took a kiss with about 75% of its health. And also Garchomp which took a massive blow from the MVP Surfetched. Now personally, in my own opinion, I wish this was switched around so we could see Cynthia's top ace in its peak form to showcase how far Ash and Lucario has come. But of course, that didn't happen. Nonetheless, it has me wondering how this will all unfold. Cynthia is going to be driving home with a Dynamax Togekiss as much as possible. I think here we can expect interesting strategies with moves like Max Airstream which of course does boost the speed of Togekiss and also Max Mindstorm which lays down a psychic terrain and boosts psychic moves for 5 turns. Funny enough, both of these moves will be super effective against Mega Lucario, so what will Ash's plan be? If I had to speculate, I could imagine him using the environment in different ways to get closer to Togekiss to possibly hit it with either a stronger bullet punch or even a powerful steel beam if it still has that move, which of course does massive damage. Though in the preview we can see Ash using some brand new strategies by using Ash and Lucario's Aura Bond to get Lucario to run inside the Max Airstream, which is kind of nuts. I think these moves and strategies mixed in with like double team could be great for Ash. Though at this point after 3 max moves I think Togekiss will finally go down in some way or another. But of course it's not over because Ash has to also beat Garchomp. Again I do wish this was Mega Garchomp to get a better feel for how strong Mega Lucario's power is but either way there is going to be some great exchange of blows. Possibly showing that Cynthia might turn the tide since we can see Lucario is getting smacked up and bullied around in this scene in the preview. Either way, I think I can imagine this ending off with either a clash of moves like Dragon Claw and Bullet Punt or the newly declared Max Aura Sphere to be the finishing blow. My major hope here is that they can make it believable. Even though I have my opinions about the battle, I still love to see Ash battle and I want Cynthia to give it her all. So we'll just have to ultimately wait and see. Well, what do you guys think will happen in this finale of Ash vs Cynthia? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. That also being said, if you want to see more content just like this, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, massive shout out to all the PokeChamp members that make this content possible. And on that note, I'll see you guys in future content. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!